Oh, hello. What would you say if you could play in Magic the Gathering events all over the world that each had a $50,000 prize pool? $50,000 for playing Magic, and at events, I might add, that sound an awful lot like Magic Grand Prix of old? What even am I talking about? Well, Wizards of the Coast has just revealed a major return to form that has many Magic the Gathering boomers asking the question, did they just bring back GPs? Eh, not quite. But this may be very close, as the newly announced Magic Spotlight series is a large multi-day event with both a main event and side events of a wide range of formats, from standard to modern to just good old-fashioned commander, and where you can meet special guests and magic artists all while playing for that giant $50,000 prize pool. These events will also carry with them invites to the Magic Pro Tour, and best of all, they're open to everyone. No pre-qualifiers needed, no prerequisites required, no Planeswalker points, and no whatever the heck it was you needed to play in the MPL. The main event is fully open to everyone. You could just walk off the street, having never played Magic, and sign up for a Spotlight series. As someone who loved the old GP system and has always advocated the value of aspirational Magic, as in a competitive system where the average average player can participate and see a clear path to the Pro Tour, I can really see why so many are saying that this Magic Spotlight series is just updated GPs. Could it be that Wizards of the Coast is finally reinvesting both effort and resources into expanding paper magic and competitive events? Are these events really updated Grand Prix? Does this Spotlight series deliver exactly what many Magic the Gathering players have been asking for since those Grand Prix events went away? Well, I have a lot to say, and I also have many opinions, all of them strong, so buckle up. Blah 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 blah. Oh, but first, I'm giving away three sets of Bloomborough Commander Precons. That's right, on my next Whatnot stream, I'm giving all of these Commander Precons away this August 28th at 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm giving away a full set of them, and then I'm doing it again, and then after that, I'll do it again. That's three sets of four Commander decks, so that makes. 11 decks? No. 13 decks? No. Well, it's a lot of decks, and I will give them away to anyone in the world, and all you have to do is log in, hang out, talk Magic the Gathering with me, and maybe, just maybe, walk away with free Commander decks. What not is just like if Twitch and eBay had a baby. Store owners stream their cool items, and you can either bid or just buy it now at fixed prices, all while interacting with the streamer and their chat. It's radical, and I hope you'll join my stream where I'll also be giving you $15 to spend however you want on whatever you want. Just use my code by creating a new account at www.whatnot.com forward slash learning college, and you'll get $15 to spend on anyone's stream in anyone's shop but, you know, you should check out all the cool Magic the Gathering products and accessories that I've got in mind. Hang out and chat with me and maybe walk away with one of these free Commander decks. So I hope to see you on August 28th at 3 p.m. Pacific, and thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So what exactly is the Magic Spotlight series? And why are so many Magic the Gathering players comparing it to the beloved GPs of Magic's past? Well, as I said in the intro, the Spotlight series will be worldwide events with a main event and side events that take place over multiple days, and in addition to those side events, vendors, magic artists, special guests, they each have a main tournament where the top eight players get invites to the Magic Pro Tour, and there's that $50,000 in prize money awarded to top finishers. So right off the bat, that sounds awesome, but why not call them Grand Prix? The name is built into Magic's history. These events are thought of fondly and missed, so why not just announce, guess what, GPs are back? Eh, the reason for this is probably that the Spotlight series is not a carbon copy of old GPs. They don't want to be held to that old system. There's many differences that I'll cover in a moment, and in many ways, this is more like GP 2.0. But the main difference I immediately see between the Magic Spotlight series and old GPs is that 
There were a lot more of those old Grand Prix events, and they were also held in a lot more locations. For the Magic Spotlight series, five are going to be held in the United States and be hosted by Star City Games. Two will be held in Europe, hosted by Fanfinity, and one will be held in Japan, hosted by Big Magic. So this is my biggest issue with the Spotlight series. I guess it's a good issue because it means I want more of it. I understand that events such as these cost an absolute fortune to put on and that logistical nightmares only amplify when they need to be organized and held overseas, but Magic the Gathering is a global game and people all over the globe are going to want to attend and play in these events. Only two in Europe and only one in Japan? Well, that makes this extremely difficult for people in those regions and pretty impossible for folks in South and Latin America, not to mention Australia. I guess Canadians can kind of drive on down here to the USA for those events, but not even one event held in Canada? What's up with that, eh? But I will acknowledge that this is a new system, so it's likely Wizards of the Coast is rolling it out cautiously. And hopefully, if it performs well, then there will be plans to both expand the number of events held each year, as well as the locations those events are held in. For those playing in the main event, there will be a variety of promo cards, and those promos are going to change for each Spotlight's theme. Oh yeah, there's going to be themes for these events, and I suppose that's another difference from the old GP system. Each Magic Spotlight event will feature a specific theme for the weekend and the main event. For example, Magic Spotlight Foundations, which will be held January 3rd to 5th in Atlanta, Georgia, will be a standard constructed theme. All participants in the Spotlight Foundation's main event will receive a non-foil Terror of the Peaks promo card featuring artwork from Richard Kane Ferguson, and additionally, the top 128 participants will receive a traditional foil copy of the Terror of the Peaks promo card. Meanwhile, the winner of this event will also receive six play booster display boxes of every standard legal magic set that's going to be released in 2025, and that's in addition to the prize money. I think it's really cool to have special prizes for each event that reflect and even play around with the themes. Atlanta's event is going to be standard, so how about a case of every standard set for the entire year? It's a cool way to keep people interested and also just keep the conversation going about upcoming events. They also revealed that there will be a modern Spotlight series held in the Netherlands that year, so I can't wait to learn what the special on-theme prize for that event will be. Hey, maybe you get to choose whether or not Splinter Twin will finally be unbanned in modern. Or maybe it's just a giant load of magic product, but either way, it's kind of like they said there's going to be a modern GP, and I am on board for that. Honestly, besides my wishing that there could be a lot more of these events, my only other concern is that naming convention. I worry that when people hear Spotlight series, they won't think major Magic the Gathering Grand Prix-like event. If I said to you, hey, there's going to be a modern GP held in March, that just carries so much weight with it. And I worry that if I say instead, hey, there's going to be a modern Spotlight series, that this maybe doesn't resonate as much. But I also don't really care because this is like we're getting GPs back. At the end of the day, whether it's a Magic Con or a Spotlight series, the store championship or just Friday Night Magic, I'm so glad to see such an emphasis on the gathering of magic. And while I have my reservations about calling these events Spotlight Series, at least they resisted the urge to call them the mythic something or other. One step at a time, Watsy. One step at a time. But hey, now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this new Spotlight series? Are these like new and possibly improved Grand Prix, or do you feel they are missing out on key features? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of events like store championships, if you are planning to play at your store championship or just the next standard Friday Night Magic event, check out my guide here. I cover not only the standard decks I recommend you build, but also the likely matchups you'll be up against, sideboard strategies, strategy and everything you need to know to play in and possibly win your next store championship. And remember, I am giving away a dozen Commander Precons on my next stream on Whatnot. Wow, 12 of them. 
And I'm giving everyone $15 credit when you create a new account by going to www.whatnot.com forward slash Talarian College. So join me, the professor, on Whatnot this August 28th at 3 p.m. Pacific. Pick up that $15 credit and buy some magic stuff in my store or someone else's and maybe, just maybe, walk away with these or other free surprises. I'll hope to see you there and thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play! The theme of today is a hobby and pastime that is much cheaper than Magic the Gathering. We're gambling. Universe is beyond. <laughs> Universe, <laughs> Universe beyond. is beyond Las Vegas, yeah. Do we not... see who the threat is here, but I just want to make a quick table check. Now you better get some goons to protect yourself after what you just said. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing's funny at all. He's got abs. Would anybody mind if I just rolled two d6s, or do you insist on the d12? It would be is a shame if someone who knew a lot about dice were here, wouldn't it? I always love betting on odds. That's odd. Vegas, baby. Okay. Whoa. Goodness oh. gracious! Look at the beautiful. Wow. Regina wow. On that. That, Back when we had dial-up internet, but that has changed. Eve quite Online a bit. is yeah. still a thing. <laughs> yeah, Eve yeah. Online, they have a whole economy. Of course.